Hi, my name is Sorry. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I will be teaching you how to solve a physics problem. How far can a train travel if it maintains an average speed of 75 miles per hour? Well, first thing is we draw. So let's draw a little train. Mm -hmm. And it is traveling. Oh. At a speed of 75 oh. miles per hour for 8 miles. Now we stop and think. Well, what if. What formula do we use? If it gives us velocity and it gives us time, then it's velocity equals distance over time. So let's write it out. Velocity equals distance delta x over delta t. In other words, distance over time. Okay. So we plug in for the variables. Velocity is seventy-five, as you can all see. This here, what I have done, is an equal law to keep everything organized. And now for delta x, which in other words is distance. They don't give it to us, so we'll just leave it as is. Delta x over delta t, which is time, and our time is here, 8 hours. What do we do now? Well, we make the 75 into a fraction, so we can be able to cross multiply. 75 times 8. If 5 times 8 is 40, and 7 times 8 is 56, plus 4 is 60, our answer is 600. So we put in our answer here. 600. And lastly, we bring down our delta x. And that's our answer. 600 miles. And that's how you solve a physics problem, which is velocity equals distance over time. So, to review, First, you annotate. So you basically look for what the question is giving you and what it is asking for, how far. Next, you draw a picture and you plug in what you have. So if it gives you the velocity, you put in your velocity. And if it gives you time, you plug in time. Then you stop and think. Well, what do we do after? Well, what formula do you use? What is it giving you? And what is it asking for? It's asking for the distance, it gives you velocity, and it gives you time. So there goes your formula. Velocity equals distance over time. Then, you plug in for the variables. If you notice that your distance is missing, you obviously quickly know you will have to multiply. Then, once you cross multiply, you bring down and it gives you an answer. And here is just your extra work to help you. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope I have taught you well. <laughs> Thank you.